Originally, Shistus were bred for royalty in China to be lap dogs for emperors, but nowadays Shistus are a very popular dog to have in your home. Shistus are bred to be companion dogs to the owners, as they are friendly and affectionate, as Shistus bond quickly with the owners, and they can be found resting in your lap, sitting or snuggled right next to you. Shistus are alert and are ready to let the owners know what strange noises around the house. They are not yappy as some small dogs, but they can make their voices known. Shistus are adaptable dogs, as they are eager to love their owners. Shistus are playful dogs, and they can be active even in their old age, but can act like a puppy sometimes. Shistus are very loyal and affectionate towards their owners. Here, I talk to Olivia Neal about having Shistus. How long have you had your shisties? Um, two of them would be nine this year, one of them seven and one of them six. Do you have a routine with your shisties? No. What is your favourite memory of your dogs? Oh, uh, what is it like to have so many shisties? It's the same as I have one. Oh, Out of all your sisters, which one is your favourite? I don't have a favourite, I like them all. If you didn't have a sister, then which other dog breed would you have? I don't think I'd have, have any dog. Just a sister? Yeah. Does your dogs get along with each other? Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them do fights. Sometimes. Would you have more shisties? No. Just for? Four is enough. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone that are thinking about getting a dog? Get a small dog. They're cute and they're adorable. What do you do if you dog done something bad? Lock them in the kitchen. And chat and leave them there until they know what's done. Do you take your dog or dogs out for a walk? Sometimes, yeah. How does your shisty react to other people and dogs? Mm, they're bad. They go for other people. And not they don't really go for other people. It's if if they come into their house and over the fen over the gate, but they go for other dogs. But what I've learned from Olivia that Shisty are social dogs that like to be near their owners and I would suggest that anyone should get to Shisty but when you go out of work or to do anything else then your Shisty would not be alone. Dog owners could have the dogs living in apartments but I think it'll be better to live in a house with space in the back for your dog to run around in. If you have a male Shisty and a female shistu living together, then it will be hard work to keep separate from each other when the female shistu or dogs go to see them. Here I talk to Sylvia Quinn about looking after shistus. How long have you looked after Toby for? On and off about four years. Do you have a routine with Toby? Yes I do. What is it? Get up in the morning. My partner takes him for a walk, comes back, he has his breakfast, and then just plays around. Yeah. How many times do you think Toby, Toby goes out for? A few times a day. And how, long, how many times do you feed Toby? Um, he has a proper meal twice a day, and he has a couple of snacks in the middle of the day. Does he get out in the, in the back garden? Yes, he does. What is your favourite memory of Toby? Um, the first time I really saw him, because he belongs to my grandson and I mind him for him. First time I saw him when he was only a little thing, and he came running right over to me. I was made up of him. I just jumped, I just put him on my knee and gave him a little cuddle on his fine. Yeah. Um. Does your does our baby get along with Tilly? No. I prefer to fight like cat and dog. <laughs> she keeps going. Me goes over to tomorrow play. 
and then she turns on and completely runs away again. Would you have a shisim yourself? Yes. If I had the chance to have them, yes. Um, have you looked after dogs before? Yes. Ever since I was a little girl, we've always had a dog. Um, what, what advice would you give someone that will think about getting a dog? Make sure it likes you. Make sure it will come to you. Just don't pick any dog. You need to pick something that you know you're going to love and it's going to love you. What do you do if Terry does something bad? Call him a naughty boy. You're a naughty boy, you shouldn't be doing that. I don't smack him or anything like that. Just shout at him. And he knows when he's done wrong anyway. How, <laughs> how can you tell? It's just, he looks a bit, you know, he knows he's done wrong when he shouts at him. Especially if you use a tone that's really, you're a naughty boy for doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he knows then he's done wrong. On on walks, how does Tabby react to people and dogs? Well, sometimes he goes after dogs. And sometimes, if we do meet anyone, he might bark, he might give him a bark and then he's all right. But other dogs, sometimes he will go for them. Yeah. What? struggling to keep them away. Yeah. What's Tabby like? Ah, family party, isn't that? He seems to be all right. No, you sure? All right? It was all right Saturday night, wasn't it? We were all here. Mm. Yeah. Seems to be all right. Um, what is your favourite memory of Toby? Oh, another favourite memory. Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, when I say to him, come on, you're going to bed, because he sleeps upstairs in, in his basket. And he'll take a toy up with him and just say to me, what toy are you taking tonight? And he'll pick something up and take it upstairs with him. Yeah. Other memory. Well, it's memory every night because he does it every night. Hmm. And what I've learned from Sylvia is that you should have shisties or dogs in a routine, either when the dog owner themselves are away on holiday, or if you have a female dog in your household that are in season and you don't want to get caught. Shisties must be groomed often. I take my shisties to the groomers for every three months as the fur can grow quick from around the snout to the tail. Shisties have many different colours going from black and white to red and white but a red and white shisty looks more blonde than red. Shisties want to be near their owners. They will bark at people but they will calm down and can be nice to people that they meet. Shisty has a weird name when people pronounce the name as Shisu, when it's pronounced as Shisu. Overall, Shisus are the great dog to have as a pet, and they will become your best friend and family in the world. But when you have a bad day, they will do everything that they can to make their owners happy. Or if you, you are having a good day, then they will be happy and excited for the owners that they will be jumping up on you.